to use the EOS utility with the Canon T6i DSLR. This video shows how to use the utility to remotely control the T6i DSLR with a Windows computer. You can see the view through the camera, focus, and take snapshots or videos. Download and install the app from the Canon webpage. It is not available from the Windows App Store. If you have more than one type of Canon DSLR, you may need to install more than one version of the EOS utility. The correct version will automatically open when you connect and turn on the camera. The camera connects to the computer with the USB cable. Turn on the camera in either snapshot or movie mode. Open the LCD screen. Press menu on the camera. Go to the seventh item on the menu. Press the next to the bottom entry. Make sure it says disable and press OK. That turns off the Wi-Fi so that the USB cable will work. Turn off the camera. Close the LCD screen. Connect the camera to the computer with a USB cable. Set the control on the lens to AF for autofocus. And set the camera mode to P. Then turn on the camera by moving the switch to the first position on. Do not turn on the camera in movie mode. If you do, the app will not be able to select snapshot mode. If you open it with in the on position, the app will be able to select either snapshot or movie or video mode. The EOS app should turn on automatically if everything is set up correctly. If not, open the app. Select Remote Shooting. The control pop-up opens with the camera in snapshot mode. If you want to see the camera view, you can click Live View Shoot. If you want to switch to movie mode, you can click the icon with the movie camera. When you select movie mode, it automatically shows the live view. The black shutter button is in upper right. For the zoom control, sorry, you'll have to use the zoom on the camera lens. In video mode, the exposure adjusts automatically as you move the camera. You can drag the focusing grid around on the screen by clicking it. You can change the way the focus grid is displayed right here. There's even a focusing mode where it'll track on a face if there's a face visible in the view. For general purpose, I recommend the, the single flexi zone. You can click to the right of the shutter button to turn the autofocus on and off. But it only affects whether the view will focus when you hover over the shutter button. You can see that by the focus grid turning green. Notice that if I hold my hand in front of the screen, it does not automatically refocus. That's because the movie servo is turned off. If I turn it on, and hold my hand in front of the focus grid, it will refocus automatically. You can turn off the movie servo focus by clicking the box. When you do that, it will only focus when you tell it to. It will adjust the exposure, but it won't automatically refocus. And you can cause it to refocus by clicking on or hovering over the, sh the uh, shutter button. I just comment that the turning on the servo while you're taking a movie may, con may be confusing in the movie because whenever you move the camera angle, you'll see it refocusing. I prefer to leave the servo turned off and just refocus by clicking the on button if, if necessary when you change where the camera is pointed. You can also refocus by clicking the arrows at the bottom of the focus box. 
if you're going to be going back and forth between uh, a relatively fixed scene, you might want to set it at some medium focus where most things are in focus and just leave it there as you move the camera within the scene. Focusing is a fairly complicated subject and really the only way to learn it is just practice with the camera hooked to the computer and just try it over and over again until you get familiar with exactly how the focusing works. When you're in movie mode, as indicated by the highlighted icon here, you can start and stop the movie by clicking the button here. Click it to start. A red dot will appear to show you that filming is taking place and then click it again to stop. And the red dot disappears. And the movie is saved on the camera's memory card. While you're taking a movie, you can take a snapshot by just clicking the shutter button. You can magnify the view for focusing it will magnify the area that's in the focus grid by clicking here, times 5, or even times 10. If you're taking a critical snapshot of something that's fixed, you probably want to go all the way up to 10 times and adjust the focus manually here for the best focus. Turn the autofocus off before taking a snapshot, otherwise the camera will refocus when you press the shutter button. Controls below the view screen. You can rotate the view 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. When you're in snapshot mode, you can change the aspect ratio of the pictures by clicking here. I recommend 16 to 9 because that's what YouTube likes. The rectangles show the area that will show in the picture. Switch to movie mode. The aspect change button is no longer active. Whenever you switch to snapshot mode and you want live view, you have to reselect it. The videos in this playlist are a how-to guide for using DSLRs. They describe the construction and operation of a DSLR, which accessories are most useful, how to take snapshots and videos with the camera controls, and using remote control apps. And they show how to use the Parrot and the Caddy Buddy teleprompters with a DSLR. Most videos show the Canon T1i and T6i DSLRs, but many of the videos apply to other DSLRs. Please note, playlist videos are being created or revised as of October 2021, and more may be added later. Please check the playlist periodically for the changes. To open the playlist, click the link at the end of the video or in the video description. There's also a description of the videos with links on the web page shown below. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website at the URLs shown here. There are links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, Click the one at upper left to watch other videos in this playlist. Click at lower left to open the teleprompter playlist of videos describing the types of teleprompters available for DSLRs and showing how to use the Teleprompt Plus app from Bombing Brain Interactive to create and display prompt text. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes channel. To subscribe, click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.